What brought you on then? It's been building up. I'll maybe give her a ring later, see if she fancy coming around. Well, actually, I was thinking about doing a family meal at the pub. Mm. I'll be up for that. You surface then. I was telling Aaron about Sarah. She had a panic attack a couple of days ago. Why don't anyone tell us? Because you're out your face most of the time, that's why. Sorry. Let's just try and be kind to each other, shall we? Well, she all right? Yeah, if anything, she's playing it down, which is worrying in itself. And now Mandy's been arrested. I mean, is there no respite in this family? Do we have any paracetamol? You know what, if you're not the booze on the head, then you wouldn't need the paracetamol. Oh, what happens to being kind to each other? Well, sometimes you need to be cruel to be kind, all right? And anyway, we've got enough going on without worrying about her. Oh, so don't worry about me then. Right, well, why don't you get a grip and quit the booze? You know, surprises. If that's at all possible. I can quit the booze whenever I want. Really? Yeah, really. Just don't want any, that's all. Right, well, now you've got a reason. What reason? Sarah. Exactly. We need to start pulling together, not ripping each other apart. All right, I'll stop drinking. I believe that when I see it. Okay, yes, I am hearing you. You were expecting a delivery of 800 smartwatches, and yet only 750 got delivered. Well, can I ask you this? Why are you phoning me? Why don't you ring the supplier? This is boring. Yeah, because I am the middleman, that's why. Tell him to go do one. Yeah, and my driver delivered eight boxes of smartwatches to your outlet this morning, and one of your employees signed for it. I even have the docket to prove it. We even have the docket to prove it. He's just showing you well, it's not my fault that one of the boxes only had 50 in. Like I say, Murray and Morgan, the supplier, ring them. And enjoy the rest of your day. Jerk. Yeah. So, right, you went directly there, yeah? No stop-offs, no coffee en route. I didn't even stop for a whiz. And you never left the van unattended? No. Not even for a nanosecond? Are you accusing me? No. <laughs> I haven't said that. That's it. I quit. Oh, come on, don't be daft. Listen, darling, if I was going to screw you over, I'd be taking a lot more than 50 smartwatches. <sighs> We're overreacting now. Well, maybe it's not just about that. Maybe I'm bored of the job. Maybe this legit stuff isn't worth the aggro. Yeah, tell me about it. No, I am making peanuts, and you're accusing me of theft. I mean, does life get any better, really? OK, I'm sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, please, just stop being so touchy and... Clean out the back of the van. Yes. No! He's moved back in. Why? Because I asked him to, that's why. What's wrong with you? I thought you'd be pleased. Why would I be? All you do is slag him off. Yeah, well, we talked and we cleared the air. I'd love to be a fly on that wall. Why are you being so horrible? Why are you being such a stupid cow? Look, Noah, I've been so nice to you. Covered for you when your mum was having a go and I needn't have. I thought we were mates. What is it with you lot? Excuse me. Always going for the wrong blokes. Enough. Who asked you? You were incredibly rude and totally inappropriate to a pregnant woman. Now, if you know what's good for you, you will leave. Quietly. Bit of a long lunch. I wasn't aware you were clock watching. Oh, I've always got my eye on you. Not still mad at us, eh? Could you believe me if I was? Yeah, well, I've spoken to Murray and Morgan while you were out stretching your lunch hour. And? And they reckon the smartwatches must be in the back of somebody's car boot. Oh, so someone else has nicked them, then? Looks like it. That makes me all nostalgic. They actually thanked me for the heads up. Good. Yeah. They said they were really grateful. And they reckon they've got their eye on one of their employees. All they need to do is catch her in the act. Good job, by the way. <laughs>